Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'm going to be explaining something with paint. And for today's explanation, I'm just going to explain how overclocking works with a really, really ridiculous analogy. So let's get to it. We have a company. Well, no, we don't. I have a company. This company is FX. 8350. Company FX 8350 does a lot of math. Their job is to do math. FX 8350 is, has an owner. This owner's name is Buildzoid. Alright. He has a hat, because he's an owner. There we go. We. And this is mine. So. Company FX8350 has employees because, well, it's a company and that's what you'd usually find in one. And one of these employees is Bob here. Yay for Bob. All applaud Bob. Bob has an important job. Bob adds numbers together. And Bob is kinda slow. He takes 45 minutes to add two numbers together. And he is a adder. Not the snake, um, but like, guy who adds, you know, so he's an adder. It takes 45 minutes to add two numbers together. And this company has a shift system, okay? And in this shift system, employees hand off their work and get new work assigned every hour, okay? So, one hour shifts. And at the end of every shift, Employees are given new work, and they hand off their finished work. But I am the owner of this company, and one hour per shift is kind of slow. Employees gotta work faster. We gotta, you know, complete more work. So I decide we're gonna start working on 50 hour, 50 minute shifts, not 50 hour shifts. 50 minute per shift. Now this is okay, because Bob here finishes his work in 45 minutes, and we're only going to talk about Bob. Just assume that everybody else in the company is also like Bob. Um, and Bob finishes his work in 45 minutes, so the new 50-minute shifts don't really matter. Bob just has to do a little bit more, like, you know, writes for 10 minutes more than he usually would. Uh, does a little bit more work than before. And all of his work is correct and complete. But, you know, this com company is mine, and so it needs to be more productive. And I decide we're going to start running 40-minute shifts. And this starts causing problems. Because if a shift is 40 minutes long, right, and I'm giving Bob new work and taking away his work after 40 minutes, well, Bob finishes his work in 45, right? So this causes a problem. Because Bob's work is not complete. And his work has to go to somebody else in the company. And suddenly all the math the company is supposed to be doing is wrong. This causes major issues. And so the company, uh, you know, starts having troubles. And to resolve these troubles, I administer Chemical V. Okay? Here we have a bottle of Chemical V. Yay! And Chemical V is a performance booster. And actually, I should have put that lower, but whatever. Chemical V is a performance booster. 10 milligrams of Chemical V can significantly improve employee uh, productivity at a slight uh, trade-off to lifespan. However, about 20 milligrams of Chemical V will start killing employees in, like, a couple hours. So, I administer 10 milligrams of chemical V into the, well, air conditioning system. And so now everybody in the company is working faster. With chemical V, Bob finishes work in an astounding 35 minutes. Right? And let's just make sure that you remember equal.
people's death, you know? There we go. And so now that I'm administering uh, Chemical V, um, employees are finishing their work in 35 minutes, and I can keep lowering shift lengths. So I go and lower shift lengths to 30 minutes, not 35. I only work in 10 minute intervals. So I lower it to 30 minutes, and this is a problem. Bob can't keep up again. Work coming out of the company is wrong. We're not getting paid. So I go and I administer even more chemical V. And unfortunately that kills Bob. And that is the end of the analogy. So now I'll do some clarification here. Alright. So, Buildzoid, the owner of the company, is an overclocker. The company FX8350 unsurprisingly represents a CPU. Yay! Bob the Adder is a circuit inside the CPU. And this here, right, the, the shift lengths are clock speed. Yay! And Chemical V? is voltage. Right? And I think at this point it should make sense to you. I, the overclocker, set the clock speeds, which then either work because the circuits are able to finish their, you know, work on time for the next tick, or they aren't able to finish their work on time, and so I raise voltage, which makes the circuits work faster. I'm not going to go into details why that happens, as it's not really necessary for you to understand. However, this voltage does have the side effect of lowering the lifespan of the said circuits. So with too much voltage, circuits start dying, and the CPU, well, dies. So yeah, I hope you found this thing explanatory, educational, and that you learned something. Um, if you liked the terrible or non-existent humor that I used for this whole explanation, you know, like, like, I don't know, leave a comment about it. Um, if you think this video was just completely cringy and crap, well, there's a downvote, but well, no, not downvote, dislike button on YouTube somewhere, you know, in the, below the video. You can click that. Uh, if you think the video was great and that you actually learned something and it was funny and whatever and you want to see more, press the like button. And yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering about my blog, yeah, I know it exists. So, that's that. And goodbye. And tune in or don't tune in for the next installment of Explaining with Paint where I will explain how PLX chips work. You know, those things that make more PCIe lanes. In theory. Well, as far as most people on the internet know, they make more PCIe lanes. So if you want to know how those work, tune in next time. And that's the end of this video. Goodbye!